creepypastas, probably the most clown topic in the horror genre. If you told someone, yo, I've read this really good creepypasta yesterday, they'd hit you with the... <laughs> but there was once a time, almost a decade ago now, where video game creepypastas were scary. And today I brought an assortment of various video game creepypastas that I uh, remember when I was younger. And uh, I want to take a look at them today to see if they hold up. Buried Alive. This story details a cut segment from the original Pokemon Red game. The final boss inside the Pokemon Tower it was supposed to be this thing. It's called Buried Alive and it's a zombie basically and uh, you can fight it. They made no code for when you beat him. Uh, but when you lose this in place. In the story it says the card bridge was designed to download this image. So every time you start it up this, this image shows. Great. Good, good game design, you know? And as a kid, you know, I could tell this wasn't real, like, why would they make that? That's just, it's just kind of silly, kind of goofy, but it still spooked me. Well, does it hold up today? It's uh, not bad. You know, for the time it was pretty original. It, it doesn't have the, uh, ooh, scary black cartridge from the fucking guy downtown in the fucking store and, oh no, don't play it, no. Four out of five. Evil Auto. Berserk is a top-down arcade game where the player has to navigate various maze-like levels and fight off robots. If you spend too much time in a level, the unkillable entity called Evil Auto will spawn and it's the scariest shit really. You can't destroy it and this omni, undestructible being of pure chaos and destruction is represented with a yellow smiley. Should Otto spawn, depending on how many enemies are still alive, he will either instantly rush towards you, phasing through every wall with the same speed as you. And if you touch him, you die instantly. And, and you can't kill him. But how? What, what, what does this have to do with like creepy persons? Like, who cares? So, in April 1982, an 18-year-old man made two high scores on an arcade machine of Berserk before dying 15 minutes later. Then there's also the story that someone died while playing the game. And the last one is... There, there has been an argument between two friends who wanted, really wanted to play Berserk and one stepped the other to death because it's such a good game. Now that sounds pretty scary and mysterious, but with the power of this being 40 years later, it's quite simple. You see, the first death was from a heart attack. The guy had a rare heart condition that he didn't even know about, so he died of a heart attack. And, and the other story from the guy dropping dead while playing? Uh, it's fake. And the stabbing? It's fake too. It actually happened. These stories spawn many urban legends and creepypasts and uh, you know what? One out of five. Wasn't that great. Mr. Mix. Mr. Mix is a story about this PC game called, well, Mr. Mix. And it's a typing game like that one Mario game. In it you help the titular character Mr. Mix by typing the words required to cook. Now, the difficulty curve is insane. It could almost be compared to playing Europa Universalis 4 for the first time. And basically, there is a words per minute requirement. In the first level, you have to type 10 before, well, the minute runs out. In the third level, you have to type 85 words. And in the fifth level, you have to type 500 words. Now, obviously, Nobody could do that. No one passed past level 5. Now that's horrible game design and was so bad many children had horrible nightmares. Which, you know, I would get horrible nightmares too if I had to play this shit. And years after, like when nobody gave a fuck anymore, a group of hackers cracked the game's code and many bad things happened. Like the game fills your PC with horrible images of Nicogado Avocado's asshole from OnlyFans. Apparently there was this one line of code that just fills your PC with asshole pictures. Th they actually wrote that by the way. Not asshole pictures, but one line of code to filling your entire PC. And, and, and the, the hackers from 4chan deleted it. Once they got past the asshole pictures, they played level 6 and they went insane and disappeared. And at the end of the story, uh, one of the hacker comes back, kidnaps a child, and when he's caught, he tells police that he is Mr. Mix. Very, very scary. Now, that traumatized me as a child because I was a dumb, stupid child that did not have any media literacy and could not comprehend what fiction was. Two out of five. Hero Brian. Oh my god, this shit, I say that a lot, but I was a stupid kid. This shit got me actually traumatized as a child. I did not want to play Minecraft as a kid. I did not want to play the game after I heard that. I don't even know why. There's so many things we could talk about. And it's kind of hard to actually classify him as one big creepypasta because there's just so much. 
but I'll just tell you about the original post. No, so there, there was this post on the export on 4chan. This guy, all right, it's like 2009, his PC is trash and he played with Heavy Fog. So he plays and he seems what he thinks is a cow and then he looks closer and it's not a cow, it's a guy. Well, he was in multiplayer, so, so he tried to approach him and before the guy just disappeared, he took a screenshot. This is the screenshot, it's really scary. So our hero posts this on the official Minecraft forum and it gets deleted. And a guy named Herobrine DMs him saying, Yo, stop. But he also receives an email from another guy who was like, Yo, I saw that shit. And then they went to gather information together. And it turns out Notch has a brother with the name. And our guy emails him like, Yo, yo Notch, you got a brother named Herobrine? And Notch answers him like, Yeah, I had one. He's dead. End of the story. Now thinking rationally, this was probably just a fake story with a photoshopped image. But in 2009, when Minecraft was new, my god, we ate, we ate good. Five out of five. And now, Sonic.exe by Deku. <clears throat> Sonic.exe is probably the worst written creepypasta out there. I mean, the story is about a Sonic fan playing a game and dying by Sonic plush, like, not much makes sense. However, some dude actually made a game out of that story, and that game got all the traction. And this game alone started the biggest .exe trend I've ever seen. Like, you have seen shit like Mario.exe, Yoshi.exe, all that shit, which is just a walking simulator. But, this also led to some great games. The first one that I can think of is Sunky. Sunky is a parody to Sonic.exe, where everyone just dances and eats breakfast. Like, it's obvious parody. They did a great job, like, they also jab at the story, so I'll give them that. The other one is Sonic EYX. Well, before Sonic EYX, I thought to myself that Sonic.exe, like, if I look at Sonic the Hedgehog, I don't see anything scary on him. Like, come on. He's a cool dude. He eats chili dogs, he saves the day, and, you know, maybe he share some beer with me, I don't know, he might. But Sonic EYX, bro, he legitimately scares the shit out of me. He looks like some Kufudu spawn, like, look at him. <laughs> Anyways, that's all there is. I really don't want to talk anymore. Like, subscribe, watch Dekunut 5. Goodbye. Oh, he has such a way with words. And there we have it. I'm not sure how uh, many I ended up including, but that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe, like, have a nice day.